Hello and welcome to the Invincible. A demo of the Invincible. Okay, I'll do everything. Be right back. Welcome to the Invincible demo. The fragment you'll play is not the beginning, but takes place later in the game. The main protagonists have already been through quite a lot. However, we don't want to spoil your experience of the entire game by explaining too much. On the next page, we've provided just a brief introduction to the scene that is taking place. Please keep two things in mind. First, getting to know this fragment of gameplay may still affect your reception of earlier parts of the game. Unavoidable spoilers alert. Second, remember that the current state of the game is not a final product. We're still working very hard to improve its quality and performance. And now, continue. Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the excavation area and heads toward the ravine, following the convoy. She's getting closer, so needs to prepare them for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her astrogator. astrogator. He is the commander of her, their unit. From early in the game, he supported Yasna's actions from aboard a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place. Regis free. Plan your route. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. But they're not in the base. They must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Yasna. I'll... a little precaution. All right. I'll try to get there via the side path. Okay, that's interesting way to include platforming. Kind of reminds me of The Witcher 2 platforming that you could only, or oh, Fable 3 also, that you could only jump off some ledges. Okay, we need to get there somehow. appreciate if the side mirrors will work in the full game. Then I cannot go through here. Okay, I understand. If we are going for the side road, we need to go there on foot. Getting tired. You can see our breath. I always admire the clunkiness of those science fiction games, especially when you are wearing the spacesuit. Mm. The planet suit in this case. They should differ because one like in the space 
there's higher levels of radiation, you need more isolation, and so on. So they are even bigger. The radiation increased. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful. Of radiation. Of other people. Just watch yourself. Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. It might well indicate something quite the opposite. Human technology equals radiation after all. I found a way to the convoy. What might interest you, sir, is that it appears to be a mechanically drilled tunnel. Circular, precise. I'm more curious about what's on the other end. Although curious might not be quite the right word. We'll see. I really expected you to slide down this hole, but... I wasn't expecting to find this. Uh, I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Okay, we have this side path. Oh. Vehicles, robots, people. Okay, so I can... Oh, this is Niemke. Okay, so we are s searching for people. Mark 3. And yep, it's uh, marked. Another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Okay. <sighs> Found the antimat. It looks damaged, but its log may still be intact. Copy that. Proceed. Mm. Okay. Where do you think it has its log? Oh, on the other side, okay. I think no, it's the other one. Okay, okay. okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. I appreciate the lack of controls, like we can see what we have what we can interact with, but we don't we're not quite sure how. Preparing for departure. Mm -hmm. Coordinates match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Uh, yes. Case they were conducting an inspection before marching out. Thank you. The antimatter is in an escort mode. Hmm. Uh, mode manual, go, rescue crew, route none, enemy none. Okay. The convoy is heading somewhere. They pass giant cranes pulling something out of a, well, giant hole. Interesting. I don't recognize that place. Just in case I've noted down the coordinates. Okay, mode automatic, go secure crew, still. They're getting close to where I am now. Nothing else? They're here. 
sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. No carvings. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. Oh. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Okay, yeah, I think we found it, found it already. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. Huh. The photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Oh, mm, let's go back. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel. Running from... Whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I yes. admit it's all very intriguing. But also too risky. What I'm trying to say is... I fear for your safety, Yasser. Appreciate it, but I'm scared too. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind if not for our link. You help me keep it together, sir. Let's go back to the previous one for a second. There was one more thing. Oh, what a shame. There was one thing for those coordinates. I'm sure of that. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... Darkness. Can't you see what it was aiming for? It's ceasing to protect the convoy. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Hmm. Panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Enemy robot? Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. A horrifying sight. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Such weapons should be banned. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. The Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagships. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. And yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Oh no. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Can a machine understand such gestures? 
If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? It took a picture of me. The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Uh, right. Um, I have no objection. I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway. Hmm? Oh. There it is. Another mark. something I can hear a rhythmic metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel uh, something still take your time yes I can't I can't hear I don't understand you sir the audio is breaking up I'll get back to you once I reach the end it's an arctan coming at me Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles. Using the same path. There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Metal bushes. Okay. It reminds me, uh, this map reminds me so much of the in other waters. Yeah, am I love that game. Lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. <laughs> so the Alliance came to pick the fruits. Maybe. The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. Location. But it's not impossible. I mean, if we could open him up. Crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Wait, can we, can we pull something out? 
Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. <sighs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. I'll try. Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use a detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And Ooh. the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... ...grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? Could be. And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. Can't you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous. Thank especially you. ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Hmm? Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore. We are moving. Disappeared. Okay. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. Oh, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Get it forward. your legs which makes sense oh no oh fuck fuck it's getting up oh. the robot no no the anti mat you need to act fast move yasna fuck no yasna are you alive yes yes the robot. What's it doing now? Oh no. Please take care, take care of our people, Novik. Do you hear? Find them the best medics. Yes, ma'am. What do you. Tell Coven I, I. I tried. No. Don't die on me now. Don't give up. You can't. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding. 
outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit can't forgive you, forgive you either. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first antiman told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Um. Actually, it's right in front of me. Mm hmm? Nothing else. Notice? R12. Wait, no, I want to write that down. This is a little wonky. Can I, um, no, I don't think we can have anything written on it. Let's see. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, uh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla gear, over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh? I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. 
But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Please continue. I have nothing more. I was counting on your assessment now. What can I say? We know that prolonged exposure to electromagnetic fields may have negative effects on human health. We're talking weeks. Maybe months. Those values were extreme. Please take that into account. In such cases, we should talk about severe brain dysfunctions. How severe? The vital organs stop working. So, death with no apparent cause of death? Oh, goodness. That's right. This could explain what happened to our dear Merit. And to the convoy's crew. Or some of them, at least. Damn. It could also explain Kovel and Krauter's stupor. How? Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. In extreme cases, complete erasure of memories. Irreversible. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? They have to. Maybe. I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't... they won't remember anything. Even language. Their past, our voyages together. Let's face it. This new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Yes, but first there's still something in here that's worth checking out. Oh, light. Okay. Um. Hmm. Nothing. That's the base, but there's nothing. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. There's something like inside it. Bullets. No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Can you open it? 
too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! We can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. I would love to hear it. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. Yes. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? More and more so. Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuous. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Now I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. Okay, I believe that's all. Seems interesting. Also nothing else in here. It really feels clunky. I hope it stays that way. I really do. Also, I hope we won't be able to see through sand. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. Maybe. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. Anything else? I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Okay, be my guest. Um... 
So there's definitely no way for us to go through here. Do we really have any idea how to get there? No. We need to go all the way around. Okay. There's no way to climb that up. Here. Come on. Over there, maybe? Oh no. Okay, so she cannot exhaust herself, otherwise everything starts looking weird. Are you ill? Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. This registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Hi. Oh, come here, little probie. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? <sighs> I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Okay, so let's follow it for now. Wait, follow it? Where are we? Another body. Wait, really? Where are we? Okay, now we are going. Beneath the dome. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? Oh. It's a good plan. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Yes, by the way. Is the probe still with you? Kinda? Yeah, it's here. Oh, it's that big. Problem. Meaning? Disabled. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Uh, just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. What happened? Bitten glove? Uh, send shivers down your spine. I know it's hard getting used to the sight of corpses. It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves. Yet, unable to do so. This one man... He 
even ate parts of his suit, trying to survive. Where did the purple? Oh. I'm climbing onto the hopper and transporter. Oh. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. I mean, this one or this one is really hard to tell. No. This is the way out. We're making a mistake. And maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone. Here, where they belong. What are you? I just worry that we might spread this threat. And the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention more humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. We can handle some mechanical flies. Humanity survived worse. Huh. Well, maybe you're right, sir. I tend to assume the worst case scenario. But not without reason, may I add. Anyway, before I go on my merry way, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Must admit, they look amazing. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black hole has opened in the stratosphere. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself. A group of these flies could be. I can tell you. Yes, yes, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. And that concludes the Invincible. I can't wait for it to come out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.